Hey guys, it's Guy Smiley here, and today we're going to be doing an instruction video on how to build my custom designed Lego drone. It is minifigure scale, and it can hold a any minifigure weapon because I used these these flex tube arms. And if you need any help making these a easy way, then just click right there in the corner, and there will be a link to a video a tutorial that I did on how to make these flex tube arms very easily. So without further ado, let's get started on building this drone. So first off, for the vest, you can use any vest as long as it has the open neck area, like this. It cannot be a tiny tactical vest, which only has the neck hole. It has to be open, open, it has to have the straps. It cannot be a, just a neck hole. So, let's uh, get started building it. So what we're going to start off by doing, is we're going to take one of these, these robot arm pieces, and we're going to attach a minifigure hand, like this. Then we're going to take another one. We need a total of six of these robot hand slash arm pieces. We're going to put that like this. Actually first we need to use one of these. Now you could use the simple ones, the simple flat ones right here. They both work the same. I'm going to use these ones because I just like the way they look with the little teeth on them. We're going to take another one of these and attach it right here. So there we have our first leg. Now we need a one by one tile with clip. Then we're going to attach it on top like so. Now this is a, this is a tight fit but it does work. So it does work. Just a tight fit there. So there's one leg. Now we'll build the other one. So what you want to do is you want to move, turn the hand this way. You don't want to attach it this way. That's a no-no. You want to attach it this way. Then you're going to take another arm and put the fancy thing on. I believe it's like a Technic Technic separator, I think. That's what they're called. So what we're going to do is we're going to attach this here. And then we're going to attach another one by one tile with clip right there. So now we have both of our legs. And we're going to take a pneumatic T piece. This will make up the hips of the robot, of the drone, and then we're going to attach both the legs right there. And then we're going to take a dark gray Technic pin with a half on one side. These only come in dark gray, normally. I have seen them in purple though, Those are, they're pretty cool, but they only normally come in dark gray. Okay, and then we're going to attach that there. Then this will make up the torso of the robot. And put that right inside there. This allows you to have a torso that can like swivel. And move around like that. Next we're going to make the arms. So we need to put a black round one by one plate on both sides. Make sure it's all the way attached. Then we're going to use two more clips and put them on both sides like this. And then we're going to take the arms, these flex tube hand arms, and attach them 
like this. I'm saying just like attach attach things like this and like so and then you're going to attach this like that. Um, don't pay any attention to that. Just saying it to fill up the empty empty sound space. So there we go. And like so. Like that. And then you have a your drone is almost done. So what you need is a vest and you're going to put the vest right over the top. And then a one by one round plate fits right over right on the stud right in between the two straps of the brake arms vest. Then we're going to take a headlight brick and then put it like that. And then attach one of these to this side, because if you attach it to this side, this side is a little bit longer. So it'll be more off-center. And then a light bulb kind of looking piece forms the sensor array slash eye. I did put a little decal on there, that's what that is. That'll be a separate tutorial on how to apply decals. But these come just plain white like that. So I put I put a little decal on there for some detail a while ago. And then what you need is your choice of printed tile. Or you could just use a blank tile if you want. And then you put that on top of the head. That completes the head. Actually wait no. You'll want to take your band for some mechanical detailing, some little, actually some wiring de wire detailing, and then just stuff it in the side of the headlight brick. And then you've got like a little wires, little wires kind of coming out of the side of the head and that looks really cool. That adds a lot of detail. I like to use rubber bands in that way. Just kind of like attach them and stuff them inside bricks to add some wiring detail. And then if you want to put a backpack on your drone, you can use one of these. Then a minifigure screwdriver as an antenna, and then a tooth plate piece as the backpack. And you guys can play around with this as well. Uh, you can customize your own and make it whatever you want, pretty much. And then you can just complete it with a brick arms gun or whatever your favorite manufacturer of Lego custom Lego design weapons is. And there you have it. You have your own minifigure scale guy smiley drone. This guy this, this guy is really cool. I really like that I was able to come up with this design. As you can see, it's pretty pretty well scaled to a minifigure. It's about the same size. A little bit taller like it would be in real life. Because I feel like if they made drones in real life, they would be taller than us. But yeah. So feel free to give me the link in the comments of this video. Or make a video of your own custom designs that you make with this drone customized versions and thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more um, tutorials and lots of other kinds of videos that I upload on this channel and I will see you guys in the next video